I just had two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for breakfast. <laughs> So I was gonna walk around this gorgeous lake. It's a day of leisure today. I thought this trail was gonna show more of the water. I mean, we're along the water. I thought it was gonna be this amazing water view stroll. Opa! And it's turning into a brush dead tree stroll, which was awesome at first. Kind of like, all right, I've had enough of it. Yes, I do have bear spray. Periodically, I will say, look out, Pookie Bear. Let's cut over to the water here. <sighs> I'm gonna just get off the trail and walk on these rocks for a bit. It's just too pretty out here to be walking in those, in that brush, but I'm never gonna make any progress. Look at just how clean and beautiful this water is. The rock is so beautiful. A huge baby pool for me. It's amazing, like when I think about people in Africa, like in little villages, there's people in the world that have no idea COVID's even happening. The strain that it's putting on so many people, I'm not affected nearly as much as many other people. And being out on my bicycle riding around is like the perfect time. So I'm actually feeling the opposite. All that my environments are so sterilized, everything is so sanitized. I just feel so different about it. Here I am in paradise and I'm not affected obviously at all. Am I supposed to be feeling guilty? Well, just so you know, I'm not. That's where I just spent, I don't know, two hours just playing with rocks and looking at wood and enjoying the view. And this is the cut back to the trail. I think I'm just gonna stay on the shore. It's not like I can get lost. I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about grizzlies. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay on the shore. Still haven't seen a human. I feel like I'm in an island all by myself. It's awesome. What's changed is the rock. It's turned into these big gray mini boulders. Look at the line. That's not a shadow, that is a defined line. Like someone came in and drew that specific line of the brown mossy stuff. That is quite bizarre. So yeah, the terrain has changed to grass and weeds. Looks like huge pieces of slate. I'm not really looking for bears but I don't know where the cougars hang out. I don't see any animal shit, so that's good. I got back on the trail. The black rock with the grass and stuff, it was it took longer to walk through, and uh, I know that there weren't a lot of opportunities to break up onto this trail, so I grabbed the one I had. I wouldn't waste my time with this trail. You could maybe walk it for a mile and turn around, but I don't think I'd walk it to the north part of the lake. I think there's so many other things to be hiking on than this. If I had a car, I would not be on this trail right now. Plus, I didn't want to do some big workout today since I'm doing the climb tomorrow and a hike tomorrow. These two, like, I don't know if they were German guys, probably in their six, early 60s, and I could tell they were uncomfortable looking at me. And I have this nipple problem. I was just out by myself. I hadn't seen anyone, and I was by the water, and like, I, you know, I rolled my shorts low on the top. I, I looked down, and I was like, my headlights were on because this had rolled, come up, and I didn't realize it. Yeah, I have a headlight problem, and it's extremely frustrating. I've struggled with it for years. Any of my ex-boyfriends, they would let me know. I would tell them, you know, can you let me know if I look really nipply? That would be my term. And people are like, oh, why? Who cares? It's a natural thing. And what happens with that is it's like a woman who has a bad face job, right? Or a bad lip job or something. Your eyes go right to that. You don't see her whole face and you don't see her eyes or her hair. So if my headlights are usually on, whether it's cold, not warm, hot, doesn't matter. I'm sweating and, the, and the, it's like there. They just are. You know, people's eyes go to that area and then they feel uncomfortable. <laughs> And especially people that are a bit ignorant that think that it's based on being excited. Although there are times, there are many times, it has absolutely nothing to do with that. Anyway, it's an issue, it's been an issue forever and I really hate it. So now that, we, now that we've had a conversation about Naomi's nipples, we can move on to more important subjects. Like, I don't know, I can't think right now. Here's the sign you'll run into when you leave the Fish Creek campground and this is the direction you would be going. So it's 6.2 miles one way, I guess, to the north part of the lake, the Lake McDonald CGO campground. So I was almost there. Both sentences have the word lake in it. You just don't see the lake. Maybe after the third mile, you start to be along the water. 
I just passed some people and I just thought I'd ask them about Apgar. And they said, well, what are you looking for? I'm like, I don't know, like something cold to drink? And they said, no. They said they just have like t-shirts and there's something that's outside, tourist stuff, signing up for things. Really? Nothing cold to drink, to buy? How can you not sell cold drinks? Well, when you're here, they probably will. I'm here, very specific COVID time, but that doesn't explain why you don't have a cold drink machine. They're relying on those people having cars and I don't. So that is a little different, but still. Here's a look at the campground. It's very pretty. I like how it's layered on this one section because then you're not like directly across from people. Everyone gets a decent space and trees. It's like half an Airstream. It's like half a sandwich. Oh, it is half an air. It is an Airstream. It is half an Airstream. I don't know if I've seen this before. That's really cool. I mean, I've seen the van style, but the whole puzzle from the top. Where am I? 